Hi, I'm Gary Lee Moore, the city engineer for the city of Los Angeles. And I would like to thank the Los Angeles chapter of the U.S. Green Building Council for recognizing two of our Bureau of Engineering projects. We're incredibly honored that you recognize the Los Angeles Department of Transportation Bus Maintenance Facility and the Van Nuys Fire Station Number 39. We believe these two projects showcase the best of what the city can do and work together to meet our commitment to the goals of sustainability and green building. You know, there's just so many people that have worked on this project in the Bureau of Engineering, from our architects, to our construction managers, to our program manager, to our geotechnical staff, to our surveyors, to our environmental staff, and many, many more to make these projects come to reality. You know, in the Bureau of Engineering, we've now delivered 61 LEED certified projects, and we're very proud of that. And this totals 1.9, almost 2 billion square feet of building area, totaling $1.2 billion of construction. And we just love the partnership that we have with the U.S. Green Building Council, and especially the Los Angeles chapter. And thank you again for recognizing us on these two important projects. Located at an entrance to downtown Los Angeles, the Department of Transportation's new bus facility provides storage, maintenance, and fueling for LADOT's fleet of CNG and electrically fueled dash transit buses. The LADOT facility includes a two-story maintenance and operations building, a two-level parking structure for staff, and bus washing and fueling stations for 70 transit buses at what was formerly an underutilized warehouse street and vacant lot adjacent to the 101 freeway and Union Station. In meeting the city's guiding principle for sustainability, the LADOT bus facility reduces greenhouse gases by fueling the fleet with compressed natural gas and with electricity generated by a large array of photovoltaic panels above the parking structure, on the building roof, and strategically located within the bus parking area. Thank you to the LA Department of Transportation team, the LA Bureau of Engineering team, the GGA project team, and the lead consultant and commissioner. In this section, we will be talking about the project design process. The project is set in a dense part of LA, bordering the Arts District, where the Little Tokyo Light Rail Station is located within walking distance. Directly north of the site is the Santa Ana Freeway, or 101, and to the west is North Alameda Street. The LADOT bus maintenance facility consists of a maintenance and operations building, a parking structure for employees with 98 spaces, a CNG fueling station, a bus wash facility, and a bus parking area for 70 dash buses. This project site plan locates a two-story parking structure for employees, maintenance and operations building, service building, bus wash, and the large solar array over the bus parking area. We worked with a client and project team to develop a set of guiding principles and establish program goals and parameters. These guiding principles and parameters were used throughout to evaluate the success of the design and subsequent milestones and completion. Here are the guiding principles in more detail. Identity. The project should foster neighborhood connectivity, rider loyalty and enjoyment, and an iconic presence along the 101 freeway. The extroverted gestural form of the building, along with its unique exterior textured material, provide both identity and icon to the public where both the 101 freeway and the Gold Line elevated rails traverse across the north side of the site. Maneuverability and durability. The project should promote ease and efficient maneuverability and durable exposed materials. Exemplary sustainability. The project should serve as a sustainable precedent for other city buildings. The building construction has achieved a LEED Platinum certification. Safety, security, and circulation. The separation of vehicle and people movement and maximization of workplace safety should be a priority. Pride of Workplace By America, project funding requires that all manufactured goods be made in the United States. Technical Adaptability All components of the project, including infrastructure, should be designed and built with a vision of emerging technologies. Neighbors 
The project's phasing, construction, and ongoing operations should ameliorate obstruction or nuisance to adjoining properties. Professional process and outcome. At the completion of this project, all participants will have collaborated with the highest professional standards, each concluding that, I worked on the team that delivered the finest transit project in California. Achieving LEED Platinum demonstrates a team's full collaboration. The layout of the first floor plan reflects a design principle of pride of workplace and sustainability. The passage from the parking structure to the administration building is through a richly planted courtyard garden. The facility is oriented to Commercial Street on the north with large windows looking into the conference room, training room, and maintenance space. The offices on the second floor are centered around a pair of outdoor rooftop terraces that provide break and social spaces for all employees. These building openings at its center maximize daylighting of the workplace while also providing a place of rest and relaxation for the LADOT staff. This next section discusses the project sustainability narrative. The scorecard shows the lead credits achieved to reach platinum rating. We will go into more detail into some of these categories in the following slides. In this graph, we can see the seven different categories within the lead scorecard. The blue bars show the highest possible credit a project can achieve, and the green bars show the credits achieved by this project. This project was able to channel development to urban areas through densifying neighborhoods and increasing community connectivity by providing pedestrian access to basic services in the local arts district and Little Tokyo neighborhoods. The intent of the Brownfield redevelopment is to rehabilitate damaged sites where the development is complicated by presence of a hazardous substance, pollutant, or contaminant. The site required the substantial purifying and revitalizing of the contaminated soil. Here's an image of the project site before development. In order to reduce pollution and land development impacts from automobile use, the site is served by a light rail station less than half a mile away and several bus stops within a fourth of a mile walking distance. The building achieved increasing levels of energy performance beyond the prerequisite standard to reduce environmental and economic impacts associated with excessive energy use based on the whole building energy simulation. This project began early commissioning participation in design development and continued through post-construction with distribution of operations manuals to building occupants along with general commissioning requirements. The measurement and verification credit is to provide for the ongoing accountability of building energy consumption over time. This required a solar panel commissioning report and future verifications of on-site solar panel array. The building encourages the development and use of grid source, renewable energy technologies on a net zero pollution basis. Based on the energy model simulation, the site is net positive. The building offsets 148.33% of its total energy costs through renewable energy, performing well beyond the prerequisite standard. This project has 1,400 solar panels. These solar panels average a total of 566,158 kilowatt hours a year. The project's solar array produces an additional 184,470 kilowatt hours per year, on average beyond the building operating needs. At a standard retail kilowatt hour rate of $0.127, the project is producing $23,428 per year in additional energy paybacks. The building reduced the quantity of indoor air contaminants that are odorous, irritating, and are harmful to the comfort and well-being of installers and occupants. Another credit the project received are the low-emitting materials credits. The building provides a high level of lighting and thermal system control by individual occupants or groups in multi-occupant spaces. The building also promotes the productivity, comfort, and well-being. In order to achieve on-site renewable energy and site development open space credits, the site addresses geographically specific environmental priorities related to the site development such as maximizing open space and optimizing solar panel orientation for on-site renewable energy. Thank you to the City of Los Angeles and project team for producing this LEED Platinum Certified Exemplary Project, which embodies the City's commitment to sustainability, celebration of its workforce, and service to the people of LA.
Van Nuys Fire Station 39 is a lead silver project. The project team consists of from the Bureau of Engineering, Alan Calabucci as program manager, myself, Joyce Smart, project manager, and the construction management team, Nathan Ho, Tui Wen, and Richard Kaskowski. Contract administration led the project for inspections with Brett McReynolds and Jeff Miller. The project architect team was WLC Architects with Kelly Needham. And the contractor selected was Ford EC. Fire Station 39 is located on Van Nuys Street and is located directly across the street from a residential community surrounded by a predominantly commercial and manufacturing zoned area. The existing vacant lot surrounded by a chain link fence prior to construction was the view for many years. Fire Station 39 in the Van Nuys area of Council District 6 brought beautification to the corner of Oxnard Street and Vesper Avenue. Fire Station 39 is a state-of-the-art two-story 18,533 square feet fire station. It, it has four heavy apparatus bays, three light apparatus bays, a full commercial kitchen, laundry facilities, working, living, and sleeping, sleeping spaces, restrooms, lockers, and showers, wellness room, and racquetball court. The second floor consisted of dormitories for the firefighters, captains, and battalion chief. Fire Station 39 was a design to achieve a leadership in energy and environmental design silver rating. Some of the materials, features, and methods of construction include site selection and proximity to major streets and mass transit, community connectivity, special relationship between the neighbors and the Los Angeles Fire Department came together to bridge the gap and enhance the community by providing a sound barrier for the adjacent homes and an innovative and functional fire station for the Los Angeles Fire Department. The use of 7,300 square feet of water efficient plants and shrubs and 24 new trees of various species. Using water efficient irrigation systems, also rain sensors device for water control. Materials with high reuse and or recycled content was used. The building contains recycled content materials and manufactured within 500 mile radius. Water and energy, saving in energy and water usage of 50% over code compliant design designed to reduce stormwater runoff and to use stormwater for irrigating planting areas. The roof consisted of an EPA Energy Star cool roof with reflective color coating to reduce solar heat gain. We use low themes and volatile organic compounds on paints and adhesive meeting SCAQMD requirements to control and limit indoor pollutant sources. Natural lighting, we use solar tube innovative tubular daylight technologies to allow natural sunlight for 90% of the spaces. The glasses in the windows are double glazed with low emission coating. And the lighting and HVAC equipment use energy efficient lighting, heating and cooling equipment. We use photo sensors to control the lighting operations. We had low flow automatic faucets and toilets for low water consumption and carbon dioxide and humidity sensors to monitor indoor air quality. All the above features were used without sacrificing the functional performance of the building for the fire department staff, the public, and the attractiveness to the community. 